Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna take you on a pretty sweet little tour of the 2022 Sabre 38 DBQ. And this thing is awesome. It's got one of the most unique bunk beds that I, bunk bed setups that I've seen. You know, it's got their, the kiddos in the back have their own individual bathroom. Um, it's kind of like a little tree fort back there. It's definitely cool. You got an outdoor kitchen. Um, but yeah, if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys are in the market for an RV, I would love to hear from you. You know, if you're looking for pricing or if I can help you. <coughs> Woo! Um, my contact information is down in the description. But again, it's a 2022 Sabre 38 DBQ. And since it's a bunk model, you know, that's uh, pretty darn sweet. Figure I'll just go ahead and walk on through, start in the back, and then work my way up to the front, then to round outside. Probably get this thing done in about 15, 20 minutes in total. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it. So right when we walk back here, you see you got a little bit of a room for activities for the kids. You know, shut this uh, this door right here, lock them away, get some peace and quiet while you're out. You know, maybe stuck in that camper. You got a couple different bunk situations here. You got this one with a 300 pound limit. An exit, emergency exit window right behind there, just in case you pop and push and you're good to go. You can also lift this up for a little bit more headroom for this couch situation there below. The nice thing about this couch, too, is it does add even more sleeping uh, for maybe some of the bigger kids, you know, maybe some teenagers. That is a trifold sofa, so it'll flip out, come to, you know, right about here, and, you know, you can sleep. It's more of like a, a full-size bed, which is always nice. Uh, you come around, you know, you're sitting on the couch, you got your entertainment area, which is jam packed with an absolute ton of storage space. So you can see all these cabinets, all these are very nice and deep, you know, for uh, plenty of stuff. You got LED light strips, you know, all across the top over here, which is nice at night, kind of a nice little nightlight situation. But what's interesting about this model and which is kind of separates itself is you have these bunks up here, which you know, if you're a kid, you're going to think these are ridiculously cool. It's kind of like your own little palace back here. You know, you're climbing around, having fun with your buddies, really getting, you know, kind of the nightlife of camping down pat, you know, making memories with your buddies or your siblings. You also have, you know, your own little exit right over here. You have a full size bath. And if you guys don't know who I am, hello, I am Hunter, your tour V guide. Feeling a little weird today. It's been a been a busy day. Selling a lot of campers. It's been a great month. I uh, work over at RV Nation. We're already, you know, over uh, 250. We're going to sell 300 campers in January, which is always nice. You know, the paychecks aren't looking too bad. Uh, which, again, if you want to be one of the, you know, the 300, you know, give me a call. Number's down in the description. All. Got yourself a sink. Got yourself your light controls. This right here. And then that controls a little fan so you can get some air circulating back here you know feeling good a little bit of storage uh, with some access to your plumbing and again the shower which does have a little tub which is nice if you guys have some real little ones you know you're good to go I myself have a five and a half month girl so I know how important that is and that's that's nice to have so I talked to you about storage on the left and right here uh, this is a backer for a TV, so it's going to be real solid. Plenty of storage there behind, which is nice. You also have a couple outlets and a plug-in, you know, for your cable. Uh, but you also have this, again, on both sides, the left and the right behind that door. But as you can see, really nice storage back here, which is killer. Right there, you got plenty of shelving space, so put some clothes, put some blankets, you know, whatever you want to do. Right here, it's nice. You have two additional outlets and two USB ports. We all know people have so many things to plug in these days. Uh, hopefully, you're staying a little detached, you know, on the camping trip. But for those rainy days, you definitely need it. Um, yeah, you got this right here. And then this is going to be going all the way through behind those doors as well. So I'll just kind of show you what this looks like. You can use your imagination for the rest. But pretty cool. I mean, this bunk room, I think we can all agree, you know, very nice. Tons of sleeping space. I mean, you could probably put two there, two there. 
you know, one here, two there. I mean, just right in this back room, you're sleeping an absolute ton of people. Now, we got kind of more of the hangout area. You know, you got the kitchen over here to the right. You got your entertainment center. You got this nice island swinging around. You have this absolutely massive slide with these big, beautiful tinted windows. Really get a good view of kind of what's going on outside. Even down to the lights, you know, they're looking nice, kind of a residential finish to them. Looks like they even got a nice little rope decoration going on, which it's, uh, that's cool, I guess. You got the zebra shades. So just like that, you know, you can get your Dracula on. You can let out a little bit of light, you know, or you can roll them all the way up. Um, one thing that I do find that's pretty neat about this dinette is, you know, storage is always an issue with campers. So they snuck a little bit underneath the chair and then right over here on the bench you know they snuck some more so i think that's pretty neat we keep coming along and you have this couch right across the way from the entertainment center with that electric fireplace but that is another trifold sofa so that'll come out to about there again it's going to be a full or queen size bed um, you know close somewhere in between i'm sure <laughs> it's an rv after all but tons of great sleeping space again. So if it wasn't enough for in the back in the bunk room, maybe you have some more adult friends that want some peace and quiet, you know, from the, from the screaming kids. You have that, you know, right there. Over here, you got this nice area with a bunch of storage, maybe a place to put a little coffee maker. You have two more USBs, two more outlets. You're also going to find you got some cabinets, you know, for some additional storage. LED lights running across the top of this entire camper. And that is going to go on both sides, you know, as well. So at night, it's a pretty good little ambient feel to it. Uh, you got this right here, obviously for more storage. I'd probably use it as a little pantry. I did see on a YouTube video, there's some folks that kind of travel around and they put these little mesh ropes across, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a good idea to keep everything, you know, nice and in there while you're driving around. We swing it around to this other slide. Uh, right here, you have your TV. And then back behind it, you got some hidden storage, you know, which is always nice. Again, sneaking in more storage. Uh, but you got this right here with a couple different zones, you know, inside and outside speakers. That's always handy. And that electric fireplace, it gets all the way up to 100 degrees. Those things put out some serious heat. They also look pretty cool. But it can heat this entire room, you know, no problem right on its own on a day that's probably 40, 45 degrees. You know, it'll really knock that chill off so you're not burning through propane. Big, big storage right in there. Right along here, you got yourself a Greystone oven. It's not the largest, uh, but, you know, it's good enough to cook a couple pizzas in there, or a cup, yeah, a pizza in there. You also have some more drawers. This one's gonna be one of the smaller ones. And then below it, you got some bigger ones. Also below this oven right here, you got another place, you know, for even more storage. Got yourself a microwave. It is also a convection microwave, which is nice. Uh, you know, use that as an oven if you need to. You got this really nice Evertrill uh, residential refrigerator. It's also one of those fancy ones. You know, you click there, you can control the temperature. Um, yeah, it's just uh, something nice to have. Plenty of space, as you can see there. Plenty of room for a week-long trip. You know, no problemo. One thing that I do like as well is you have the ability for two different, you know, freezer drawers. So I think that's pretty neat. And if you guys have any suggestions for some information that I can do, you know, differently here in these next videos or something that maybe I'm not including that you would like to see, definitely make sure to drop a comment. You know, I'm learning. I'm trying to get better. I've been doing this for a while, but obviously I'm trying to grow, you know, kind of my little RV community, make a little bit of extra money for myself and my family. And I would really greatly appreciate your guys' input. Uh, well, move on to this. So up here, you got some more lighting. Uh, with some more of that little rope there tied across the top that's looking oh so good. You're also going to have a residential fan to get the air circulating around in this thing. This is going to be your island kitchen. You got the solid surface countertops. Here underneath, you got some more 
accent lighting. Can't get enough of it. Something that I love. You also have your black stainless steel undermounted bowl. You know, that's always uh, handy. It's kind of that barn style. Your high-rise residential faucet. Right there, you got some access to your plumbing. You also have uh, plenty of room for some extra storage. And then over to the right, you got three of these, you know, little pullouts here. So as you can see, I mean, there is a ton of storage in this camper. It's a pretty slick setup so far. Uh, one that I really enjoy, one that I sell an absolute ton of. Ooh, I don't know if I showed you this, did I? I'll tell you what, I've been so freaking busy, I'm a little scatterbrained. So if I showed that to you already, you know, that's okay. It's always nice to see again. But yeah, really nice. If you guys have made it this far, if you guys don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. So as you walk right inside this main door, you know, one of the first things you're going to see and obviously need to know about, you got your lighting controls right here, water pump, water heater. But then you got your LCI screen, which is for, you know, all your different controls. You got your awning, your leveling, your lighting, your slides, all in one nice, you know, convenient place. Some place for some settings, you know, diagnostics, you know, all that good stuff. You're also going to have a control for uh, your heat and your AC right there. You got this little octopus hanger, dude, just hanging out, chilling, waiting for you to put a coat on. Right here, you got the, uh, the second bath. So like, you know, you saw that first one back in the bunk room. Here is another one. Got yourself a sink, a little mirror with some storage. You know, actually, while I'm at it, too, if anyone's in the market for a puppy, um, I've got my dog got out, you know, right around Christmas. We had nine puppies, They're little osadors. They're cute as can be. If you guys are in the Ohio area, uh, please, dear God, buy a puppy from me. I would love to love to sell them to a good home. Actually, I don't even have to sell them. You can have one. So that wraps it up for the bedroom here. Now we'll go show the bathroom. Now we will go show you the bedroom. Whoa. Right there's a stair behind me. You also have this nice window. And then right in here, this thing is really nice. They have the Rhino box uh, hitch on this. And what that allows you to do is have a ton of more room up here in the closet, which I'll show you here in just a second. But you got this really nice sized bed. You're also going to have some outlets here. Some outlets there along with some USBs. The other control uh, for your heat and your AC. Two little windows on either side as long as as well as two little shelves. Underneath the bed, you're also gonna have you know some good storage. <coughs> Place for a TV backer, as well as all the hookups that you need and the outlets. You're also going to get a, uh, a dresser here with three of these drawers. All right, so this is this closet. You know, traditionally, they're going to be a little bit smaller. Um, but, uh, you know, this, uh, this brand does a really nice job of kind of utilizing the entire camper, which is nice. You're also going to see you have access to hot and cold water uh, for, you know, a residential style washer and dryer. You also have the outlets. And then over here, you have your dryer vent location, you know, and some more outlets as well. But you get a lot of use between those shelving right there and some area to hang up all your clothes. And then you have another, you know, upper shelf. Well, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I mean, again, uh, for the inside, I'm going to about to go show you the outside. But again, this was the 2022 Sabre 38 DBQ. I appreciate you guys uh, for sticking around and watching. I definitely hope I hear from you. Maybe subscribe, stick around for the next video, and for sure drop a comment. You know, let me know what I can do differently. Uh, so that way I can, uh, you know, kind of keep growing. Keep growing. That's the goal. So right here on these solid surface stairs, you got this really cool cutout. I'm just kind of a nerd for stuff like this. I just think it's really nice looking, but it's cut out like saber. You know, you pull this up, throw it in the door. Most campers come with these these days, but, you know, point it out anyway because it is important. Marine grade speakers here on the outside. 
You also have this massive awning with the LED lights that goes over and past that slide. Right here, you have a bunch of pass-through storage, which is always nice. I mean, check out that. Also shows off some of that construction along with the aluminum frame right there. Outlets, cable, satellite, you know, all that good stuff. Here's a little light switch for this in there. You have a leash latch for your furry little friend. This unit is a dual axle. Comes with this nice exterior uh, camp kitchen. Now it doesn't come with, you know, any type of, uh, you know, grill up here or anything like that to cook with, but it does have your LP quick connect right there. So you can hook up a propane grill, you know, and get right to cooking. But I love how, you know, how tall this is. One, you get one of the larger refrigerators. This thing can fit a 48 pack of apple juices in there. You know, get your drinking on. But check out all the storage for an outdoor kitchen. I mean, that is just, uh, that's just nice. Plenty of countertops. You know, maybe put out some uh, some burger fixings. Or if you're vegan, maybe put out some, some tofu fixings. My sister's uh, vegan and she eats something called Seton quite often. I tried it. You know, it's actually pretty good. I definitely don't knock it. But it's a uh, weird texture. It's kind of like a meat. I don't even know what it is. But it's all right. Swinging around the back of this Sabre, you got yourself a little uh, receiver hitch. It can hold up to 300 pounds, I do believe. So you can put on, um, you know, bike rack or, you know, some type of utility rack for, you know, some storage. This one also has uh, the observation camera that plugs in right up to your phone. Bluetooth's right back to it. So you can see, you know, what's going on behind you. That's always a nice feature to have for safety. You are also eligible to put on uh, three slide toppers for this if you would like for the three slides uh, All of them come prepped for it. They run you about seven hundred dollars a piece to do so If you're not familiar, it's basically an awning that attaches on to right there and goes across the top And really cuts out some of that debris, you know from falling on it or the Sun from beating down on your seals You know pine needles tree branches, you know all that kind of stuff uh, But definitely, you know check that out. This might be uh, it's definitely worth your time uh, this is a fully walkable roof, so feel free to get on up there, you know, check out everything. Make sure, you know, twice a year all your seals are all looking good. You know, everything is, uh, you know, staying, staying well maintained. That's definitely important. Right here, you have your docking station. You got your black tank flushes, um, antifreeze inlet, you know, so that way you can get all your winterization going. That's going to be, you know, where you kind of do the winterization. Hot water bypass valve. You also have a little spray port. Uh, with that little shower right there, which is always nice. You do get hot and cold water here. Uh, cable and satellite view of the other side of that pass-through storage. Side of the slides, which is always nice on these Forest River products. You know, they're hard on some of the other brands, you know, mainly in, um, you know, some of the Keystone brands, some of their lighter products, some of their, you know, less expensive products. You can really push on that and it actually kind of like, kind of like bows a little bit. It's kind of goofy, but... You know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. You got a little storage up there as long as well as your controls for your electric auto leveling. So that is always handy. Um, but yeah, I think this about wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. My name is Hunter and um, this was the 2022 Sabre 38 DBK. I thank you guys very much for your time. Have a great day. See ya.